Assalomu alaykum aziz talabalar va hurmatli tinglovchilar. O'zbekiston milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi o'qituvchisi PhD Abdullayeva Nargiza Erkinovna bugun sizlar bilan amaliy tarjima ko'nikmalari fanidan yangi mavzuni tushuntirib o'tadi. Ushbu fanimiz 2-kurs 4-semestr uchun mo'ljallangan. Bugungi mavzu yangi mavzuimiz ilmiy maqolani tarjima qilish. Keling endi darsimizni ingliz tilida davom ettiramiz. Translation of a scientific article. The main function of the scientific and technical style is informative. To convey logical information, prove its novelty and significance is the main goal of a scholarly, scientific or technical author. This style is used in professional spheres of science, humanities and technology. The scientific and technical style involves the following sub-styles. Scientific, technical, instructional, you may call it even educational and popular science uh, substyle. These substyles are classified into the following genres monograph, manual, textbook, article, report, technical description, discussion. The distinctive features of scientific and technical uh, style are priceness and clear logic, comp uh, compressive character, impersonality, and formality. So, priceness is a basic property of a scientific and technical text, and it should be strictly maintained in translation. A translator must be fully aware of what she or he is translating to render precisely the content of the text. Special attention must be paid to terms. To translate precisely, it's not enough to know an equivalent of the term. It's crucial to know the exact place of the concept, denoted by the term in relation to other concepts. Therefore, translators in science and technologies have to specialize in a foreign language in a particular subject. In fact, there are two types of translators, language translators and engineering translators. The former usually require um, penetration into the subject matter. The latter need uh, good language skills as well. In specialized translation, search for interlingual equivalents is a time-consuming activity even for an experienced translator. Therefore, the middle 1960s and early 1970s gave rise to term banks or terminological and data banks that is systems for storing specialized vocabulary in electronic form. Preciseness and reliability of a scientific text is also established with references and citations. And the Russian style researcher Razinka compares, uh, Razinkina compared uh, references with currency by which scientists pay their intellectual debt to their predecessors. predecessors. This uh, bibliography is uh, considered to be a kind of uh, social control over scientific value and reliability of the results of research. In the target text, references in the source language and foreign languages are returned in the original form, so that the receptor would not search for a non-translated book, thinking that it has been translated. For the same reason, a translator keeps untranslated quotations in a third language. The translation of units of measurement uh, depends on the system they are expressed in. If in metric system, weights, measures, and quantities are usually retained. So next feature is uh, clear logic. It is achieved through a system of logical connections and interrelations. A stock of linking phrases will help a translator make a connection between a point in the past and future to refer a receptor forward or back. A specialized text tends to emphasize thematic components by various means because the theme serves as a linking element between what has been said in the text and what will follow, new rhematic elements. English texts, uh, though, often manifest their implicit character and do not verbalize the thematic component of the sentence. Therefore, in the more explicit Russian text, a translator has to extend the sentence by adding an implied thematic element. 
Logical enumeration of classification in scientific text is a matter of graphical hierarchy. First come Roman numerals, then Arabic, and if necessary, Arabic numerals with a parenthesis, followed by capitalized letters. A scientific text must provide a reader with maximal information with a minimal time period and with minimal effort. It's called economy and or compressive character of the text. This stylistic feature is achieved with lexical and grammatical means, such as using compressive structures like attributive clusters, complex subject, complex object, reduced adverbials, article ellipses, abbreviations, etc. It's necessary that to translate the decipher all the abbreviations in the original by using every available dictionary and reference book and render them according to the standards. If the form has no standard abbreviated form in the target language, it's given in full form. So, the next one is impersonality. It's a measure of the extent to which the producer of a text avoids reference to him, herself, or to the receptor. Such avoidance is far commoner in written than is spoken texts and in Russian than in English. Using impersonal and indefinite structures, passive constructions, infinitive clauses, etc. provides the impression of the impersonal and objective style. As has been mentioned above, in English, texts are smaller degree of impersonality is acceptable as compared with Russian. This results uh, in a more frequent usage of personal pronoun I, we, you, yeah, in English. Such sentences are often translated from in English into Russian or into Uzbek even by infinitive clauses or impersonal constructions. So, English constructions and uh, instructions and directions normally list instructions in the imperative mood. To observe impersonality as a characteristic feature of a Russian technical style, it is recommended translating the imperative verbs by Russian infinitives. Some authors prefer to use the so-called royal plural we, me, but in Uzbek. Today, this usage is considered somewhat outdated. It is better to keep an impersonal style in Uzbek. So, it's given here to translate uh, as a translation of a scientific article. Formality. This feature results from the author's tendency to avoid connotative words in the scientific text. However, research by Razinkina and other linguists has shown that English scientific text is not a void of expressive elements, which greatly differs from the Russian or Uzbek style. Metaphors and bright similes are not infrequent in the English scientific text. Many of us are amused by grammatical acrobatics. Since this feature is so different in English and Russian, translators generally leave out metaphors in the Russian translation, according to the rule of functional equivalence. So, that is all for today's lesson. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, you may uh, connect me through this email. Goodbye.